In this video, I'm going to show you how you can access a person's record and update them and change some details about their profile. On the left hand side, I'm going to click People and then click Contacts. And I'm going to click our Demo Brisbane contact here and then bring up his profile. Uh, under Basic Details, I can change his first and last name. I can add a nickname, an ethnic name, a middle name, or a maiden name. Under the Gender, I can choose Male and I can choose marital status as well as add any email addresses or phone numbers that are applicable for uh, this person. Down here I can add their date of birth and I can choose whether I'm just taking a guess at their date of birth or that is literally that I know that that's their birthday. This is helpful so that you can have people in the right age groups but you don't necessarily know their birthday. Whereas uh, if I choose it's correct, we'll know it's their birthday and we can also do things like set up automated messages to say happy birthday and things like that. I can also choose a primary time zone. If I just leave that as none or default or blank, uh, it will assume the time zone of my account. However, if you're multi-campus in multiple time zones, it may be worth setting a primary time zone for each person. Uh, under here, I can choose the schools if I've set up any schools or academic cal calendars. Uh, and I can also add check in public check in name tag notes for this person. If I click activity timeline, uh, I can view all of the activity that this person's done uh, from the dawn of time, uh, including things like uh, logs as to when they were created or updated, and emails that they've received, uh, notes that have been added against them. Uh, pretty much everything that happens that we know about will end up in this activity timeline. And this is all filtered based on your access permissions about what you can see. You can also further uh, cut, uh, further filter the timeline by clicking these tabs at the top. I can look at all the form submissions, um, the attendance, uh, any messages or correspondence that, that this person's received, transactions that they've made, as well as any posts or notes. And I can also add posts and notes uh, for this person uh, from this page too. Uh, on the left, if I click household relationships, it'll show me the household that they're in, if they are in one, or I can add one. I can also choose their roles, whether they're a parent or a child, and add extra relationships with other contacts, including their guardians, their siblings, spouse, partner, grandparents, things like that. If I go to groups and teams, I can also go here and see all the different kinds of groups and teams that I have, and I can add uh, add those groups or teams just by clicking and then selecting the groups or teams that I want to add this person to. In processes, I can also see where they're at in certain processes. Here I can see that they're in week one uh, and they have one task to be done for them in the new person follow-up uh, process. And it's due in seven days. If I click that, I can get access to the card um, and I can work on the uh, work on the card and change the tasks and tick them off or reassign and do all of that kind of stuff. If I go to capabilities here I can add capabilities like skills or talents or qualifications or training kind of uh, training qualifications. Um, I don't have any capabilities set up at the moment so uh, bit, I can't really there's not really much to show there. Um, I can also add in unavailability dates, so times where this person can't be rostered, uh, if they might be away on holidays or uh, just unavailable for whatever reason, I can set dates uh, that they can't be rostered on for. Um, under notifications, I can also choose their default country code for when we're sending SMSs to them, and we can also turn on uh, promotional emails or promotional SMS, um, or disable it so that they don't receive those uh, those communications. Underneath I've also got my uh, custom detail sheets. These have all been defined um, in the system. You may have one, you may have none, you may have 30, um, but all of those custom fields are all applied that I can add to this profile. And last but not least under metadata I can go down here and I can either mark them as deceased and I can also explore any other data that we may have saved onto this contact via the API or other integrations. On the left, there's also a few quick buttons to send email, uh, send an SMS, call them, or add a post or note uh, to them, or add them to my address book on my computer or device. If I need to update a photo, I can click here to upload a photo for the contact uh, just by clicking the face. Um, for all other things to do with the contact, there's this ellipsis 
This will show you the action sidebar. It'll give you all of the other options of things that you can do uh, with this person, um, including some of the things I've just mentioned and other functionality.